Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois in March, the 7th International Conference on Micromanufacturing offered the perfect opportunity to take a tour of the host's micromanufacturing lab. Conference co-chairs Jin Chao and Cornell Amen, along with a few of their students, provided an overview of their research and workstations. In addition, Professor Amen revealed a bit about the lab's success with measuring the temperature distribution of microscale cutting tools, down to tens of microns under the rake face. We would like to welcome you to the Precision yeah. Micromanufacturing Laboratory at Northwestern, and we will give you a brief tour of our activities, and you can perhaps also hear something from the students. So this is our micromanufacturing lab, and the focus of the lab activity to, is looking at to the manufacturing at the micro scale. And we are also specializing in terms of the desktop manufacturing stations. As you can see here, we have micro rolling mill. So this is our micro rolling mill, and uh, the goal of this one is instead of using the machines, for example, as tall as I'm, I am, or taller than I am, bigger, much heavier than I am. <laughs> and here at the as a station, you can roll the sheets down to thinner features, as well as impose surface texturing uh, on the sheets, and at high rate, you know, and uh, precision-wise. So this is uh, something that we designed in-house, and uh, you have the piezoelectric, you know, controlling the the displacement. So which is a fine uh, tuning right here, as well as we can do differentiation of the roller speeds um, and produce some interesting textures. Okay, I, uh, I'm Meng Huang Ng Chester, is a student of Professor Chow, and I'm uh, doing some research is about the surface texturing. Here is the micro rolling mill. And during the set texturing, we have a roller. This roller has some uh, p texture um, fixtures on it when it's rolled. And the material, the material is printed with some channel on it and this is the working principle of this rolling mill. During the rolling process, the material is passing, uh, passing through the roll gaps. When it's rolled, the friction force will draw the material uh, between the roll gap and the channel is printed on the material surface. So this is our micro scale material testing station and particularly what we are interested in is uh, the sheet's behavior under both tension and compression. And the reason that we are interested in the compression behavior is because um, material geometry accuracy is depend, uh, dependent on uh, how, how good we can capture the compressive uh, response. So as you can imagine that uh, a sheet when it's under compression, you're going to have buckling. So we actually have developed the micro texture devices which help to impose, uh, impose the normal constraints while you do the compression and therefore you know, delay the buckling failure of the sheets. So this little device that you can put in here, okay, and then you can do the tension compression and record the force and displacement. I'm a student of Professor Chow. Basically, you can see the small samples in here. And uh, basically, they have two sides. This part could be text uh, uh, strings. And from the back side in here, we can uh, check the temperatures through the specimen. And for, uh, for that, we can do in the electrical assistant uh, microformings. And also, we can do the uh, regular tension test. And also, from the setup, we can do the micro-bending test. We can bend the sheet from uh, 60 microns to 120 uh, microns. The bending radius in here, uh, this one is very big, but for this setup, we can bend it for um, 500 microns uh, specimen. 
here on uh, this table we have uh, actually two projects. We are a little bit uh, crowded here. But uh, this uh, uh, front device is a uh, testing station for testing uh, uh, biopsy needles and uh, surgical knives. Uh, right now it's set up for a needle, okay, so we, we are developing different needle geometries and textures to control the force and the friction as it penetrates tissue. This plastic part is a uh, simulates tissue. It's a, called a phantom tissue. It's a certain material that exhibits similar characteristics to human tissue. What we do, we control the speed and measure the speed and the position of penetration. Here is a force transducer that measures the forces, and then we evaluate different types of designs. Beidong here, he is the resident expert in uh, texturing different types of needles and surgical knives and so forth. And these are the various samples he has developed and tested here. Um, you will later on we will see the, the machines on which we actually do the texturing. This is the, the, the testing station here. My name is Pedro Han. Uh, I'm a PhD student at Northwestern University. I work with Professor Eman on, on micro machining project. Uh, here is uh, our laser system in our lab. It's a picosecond laser system uh, equipped with five degree of freedom uh, control stage. I'm working on uh, laser surface checking of medical needles. Uh, the purpose is to increase the performance of micro needles. We designed the system for needle fixture. You know, needle is, is very small. It's very difficult to texture. Um, accurately, so we have this fixture to um, fix the needle at both end, and uh, we have a self alignment system to adjust the needle, and also we have a vision system. If you take a look at, at the upper side of this uh, setup, we got camera, um, we can monitor on the surface tackling process online, so we know what's going on there. When there's any misalignment, when there's any out of focus, we can tell from our vision system. And if you take a look at the poster here, you can find some results. The uh, texture needles, and also we also work on uh, surgical blades. We texture the surgical blades in, in order to reduce the cutting force and friction. And what we have shown is that uh, with the proper texture and you can reduce the friction by almost like 40 percent and this is a big energy saving because if you reduce the friction force uh, you can reduce the force that's needed to overcome the, uh, the to make the work on top of that this is another thing that we are working with ford and boeing just by the pattern on it um, is if you texture the, the drill tools, you can actually reduce the adhesion as you can see very obviously this is without textures and this is with textures and the adhesion has been greatly reduced by drilling um, in drilling the titanium. So this setup is a micro extrusion setup. The purpose of this setup is to study the friction effect at the high rate um, because you know friction influence the material surface finish and uh, um, the, the, the load accuracy as well. So if you take a look at the inner, you can see there's a tiny little punch there. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so the punch will actually extrude the, the pin and the pin, it's like, if you think about this, it's more like uh, making the connecting pins for the electronic boards. These are two older projects, but uh, what you see in the back is a uh, 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 three-axis CNC precision milling machine. The spindle is missing right now, which I developed some 10 years ago, and uh, it was uh, kind of a joint project between Michigan, Urbana, and the Northwestern. Each of us tried to develop different generations of these precision machine tools. It's a desktop machine. It was a part of a micro factory project. Uh, this other thing here is a uh, kind of a unorthodox uh, uh, drive mechanism. We call it a double wedge drive. Uh, uh, the advantage of it is that it's very fast. 
the moving masses are very small, so we can uh, obtain very uh, fa fast speeds and accelerations. It's essentially two counteracting wedges, which when they move in uh, opposite direction, they lift the center wedge. If they move synchronously, then they go right and left. This here is uh, actually one of the work working horses in the laboratory. Uh, we use it for measurements of surface roughness, the micro features we produce in all the processes, laser processing, micro rolling, micro cutting, whatever, so it's an evaluation tool. It's one of the top of the line products by uh, Zygo. Okay, it's an indispensable tool for what we are doing. Little project that we are developing here is a, a, a resonant mode ultrasonic uh, uh, vibrator that essentially actuates a, a small diamond tool for and is intended for texturing various types of uh, internal and external surfaces. And uh, this is just a very small test setup here. What you see is the transducer itself that uh, generates elliptical oscillations as a tooltip. This is the dynamometer, which we, it's not hooked up right now, but uh, we are using to measure the, the forces we are generating. And uh, uh, these measurements are used to verify the, the various models we are trying to formulate. Here are, for example, some, uh, uh, some textures that were developed and measured that was in uh, single point, basically uh, single point diamond turning operations. This one here I cannot show you the, uh, the, the, the insert itself, but it's a joint project between Professor Shao Chun Li and myself. It's an NSF funded project. And it's unique in a sense that we managed perhaps for the first time to measure the temperature distribution in cutting tools. And the idea is the following, uh, 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 Professor Lee is using uh, 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 MEMS uh, techniques to uh, build an uh, array of uh, 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 thin film thermocouples, junction size of uh, 5 microns on a, a piece of polycrystalline cubic boron nitride. And then we use diff diffusion bonding to bond a top layer and use then this as uh, the sandwich, uh, basically as a cutting tool for uh, uh, hard turning operations. And uh, we can measure basically temperatures, uh, tens of microns underneath the rake phase or tens of microns away of the cutting edge. No existing methodology allows you even to come close to this capability. And what you see here is perhaps among the first results which indicate the temperature distribution about 50 microns underneath the rake phase of a cutting tool. Now what we are trying to do is to extend these technologies for uh, building or embedding sensors, not only thermocouples, but also strain gauges and uh, piezo uh, uh, piezoelectric force sensors into diamond tools for ultra-precision machining and also into shear bits for oil exploration.